بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم الصادق الوعد الأمين اللهم لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت علم حكيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي أما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم والفرقان الحميد بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فبشر عباد فبشر عباد الذين يستمعون القول فيتبعون أحسن وقال عليه الصلاة والسلام المؤمنون هيجرون هيجرون كالجبل الآمن إن قيد إن قاق ويقيق على سطر الإسلام أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام So my dear brothers and sisters this is a really great and beautiful opportunity in this glorious night which has a great chance of being the Laylat al-Qadr, the night of power. And that power comes from the one who is the Qadir, who is all powerful, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qadir, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all powerful, okay. Malikulu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the king of all the domain. Dhul Jalali wal Ikram. That is who you are, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this night is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Ummah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Khayrun min alfi shahr. It is better than a thousand months. Which means, one hour of ibadah in this night is ten years of ibadah. One hour of ibadah in this night is equivalent to a decade. A few minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes is like one year, or two years, or three years, five minutes. So this is a great, you know, gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this night will also pass. As beautiful as it is, it will pass. And different places of the world will experience Laylatul Qadr in that night. So, yeah, yeah no problem. So we have a Toyota, and it is 10T 9SR. 10T 9SR. If you could please move your car as soon as possible. It's a Land Cruiser. Yeah. What car? It's silver. Yeah. Silver. Yeah. So we have in this night a great opportunity. But the question is, how can we make every night of the year like tonight? Wallahi, well, if the masjid was alive by this in every night, Ya Rabbi, what a night. Walau aman ahlul qura. If the people of the world, they were to, to, to bring in complete iman, what would be their, their good gifts? In this life, you get hayat and tayyiba, you get good life. You know what I tell my students? I tell them that, you know how when you go in the plane, do you remember planes? Remember when you used to take planes? We forgot about planes now. <laughs> we don't even want to go in the plane now. Yeah, we forgot about planes. Remember when we used to take the planes? There was economy class. There was business class. There was first class. So I tell them, I tell my students that when you have hayat and tayyibah, you are living a life of first class. Everything feels amazing. Everything is enjoyable. Even the simplest of gifts for you are so enjoyable. So the question is, how can we make every second of our life and every minute of our life Upon the correct path. 
There is a secret. This secret is called finding good company. Good people around you. There's a famous saying, show me your friends and I will tell you where you will be in 10 years. Show me your friends and I will tell you where you will be in 10 years. Your company, the people you keep around you, is so important. And the mentors you have in your life. The people that teach you something. So the people around you are important. Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah, he said about Layth ibn Sa'd. And Layth ibn Sa'd was a great scholar, but he was at the same age as the teachers of Imam Shafi'i. So he was older than Imam Shafi'i. He said, Layth ibn Sa'd was more better at fiqh, afqa, kan afqa min al malik than Imam Malik Kan afqa min al malik. But his students, the Ya'ru Qulabu, his students did not able to benefit from his knowledge. They couldn't grab it. So there is this aspect of tawfiq, of receiving a divine blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah allows you to be in the right place, at the right time, with the right person, and Hidayah comes, guidance. We will open up the doors of guidance both in this life and in the hereafter. That is the gift for the person who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives good things to. And, you know, it doesn't matter whether a person is rich or poor. Allah will give to the people who are in some people to think that because they're poor, they say, ah, the rich man won't give. No, Allah will give them to him as well. Because Allah gives, yahdi man yasha. Allah gives to whom he wish. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He gives to whom he wish. يُعِزُّ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيُذِلُّ مَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as it is mentioned in the ayah يُعِزُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتُذِلُّ مَنْ تَشَاءُ that Allah gives honor to whom he wishes Allah disgraces whom he wishes so this night let's all knock the door of Rahman and ask number one for hidayah for ourselves but don't be selfish have good company. Hidayah for the people around us and to bring the people who have Hidayah to us. Bring them around us. Allah, it's a hadith of the Prophet, it's a sunnah dua. Oh Allah, give us your love. Wa hubbu man yuhibbuk. Allahumma zunna hubba. Wa hubbu man yuhibbuk. Oh Allah, give us your love and give us the love of those who love you. Ah. Abu Bakr Sadiq was a close friend of the Prophet even before prophethood. It was only two years between the two of them. And they were good friends. Only two years between the two of them. And they were good friends. When the Prophet ﷺ became Nabi, Abu Bakr became first Sahabi. One became Nabi, one became Sahabi. Immediately. Why? This was his friend. This was his friend. So every Musa needs a Harun. And every Harun needs a Musa. You need to have someone with you who takes you on amal al-khayr, on the goodness. When you have that, and you have that amal al-khayr of goodness, look at look at what, what happens. Ibn Kathir, Allah So many of the greats. Students of Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah. Imam Muslim, Imam Tirmidhi, students of Imam Bukhari, Imam Bukhari, 
student of Ahmed ibn Hamad rahimahullah. You want to learn greatness? Go to greatness. You want to learn great things? Be amongst those people who do great things. It's the secret. It's the quick way. One person, he goes to the gym, he doesn't know barbell from dumbbell. He doesn't know pull up from stretch. Bench press from squatting. So he goes to the gym. He goes once, he goes twice, he goes three times. He goes six months. But he doesn't get beach body. Someone else goes six weeks beach body. How? He went and he asked the people who knew what to do. He asked the people who knew what to do. Quick, quick, fix the diet, fix the exercise. Iman and spirituality is more complicated than that. But there are things. I always tell people this that just imagine to fix this body, the physical body, you need PET scan, MRI, CAT scan, X ray, blood test, neuromuscular tests, this test, that test, to fix this body. I test, I, all these things, to fix this body, just to find out what's wrong. And we can see this body. So how about the body that we can't see, which is the hood? Mm. What do we need to do with the soul to fix that soul? It's a good question. What's the x-ray for the soul? What's the MRI for the soul? Mm. Absolutely. The first time you read Quran, it's going to be difficult. A little bit tough. But with that toughness, there's this. Well, if I get a the Quran and the I have been with that. The Quran will become easy, don't worry, Allah made it easy. It's just your time needs to become easy. <laughs> Quran is easy, your time needs to become easy. We need to work on it. Give it a massage. The first time you read, it's a little bit difficult. Second time you read, less difficult. Third time you read, much easier. And then now, yes. In this Ramadan, how many people we know? They finish 10 times the Quran, 12 times the Quran, maybe more. It can happen. But when we attach ourselves to the right things. So I don't want to take too much of your time because tonight is not a night for talk. Tonight is a night for action, dua. It's a night for the Dharma. And this masjid we love very much. We love the masjid, we love the imam, we love the committee. We love everything about the masjid. We love the musallis. We are very close to the musallis here. Why? It's a special place. So, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take it from strength to strength and accept it. And inshallah ta'ala, you have some work and some extensions to do. May Allah make that work go easy. And inshallah ta'ala, it becomes completed with afia and quickness and ease for the people. And inshallah ta'ala, people take benefit. Because these people, this masjid has been serving the community for decades. I remember this masjid when I was a small kid. It used to have like a colored glass. <laughs> in the morning, when the light used to come, it used to come in different colors. Shalat time. Red, green, and yellow. Yeah, green and yellow. <laughs> like, so, Zakamullah, we make dua together, and then we stop. Bismillah, the Rahman, the Rahim, Allah, Musa, the Allah, 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 وزينوا في قلوبنا وكربنا الكفر والفسوق والعصيان وجعلنا من الراشدين وجعلنا من المهديين وجعلنا من عبادك الصالحين صلى الله تعالى خير حق محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين آمين بحرمة الفاتحة
Yeah. I think it's still live.